This is the new Beacon Medeas Lifeline Global Manifold. This advanced design allows for complete confidence with both quality of manufacturing as well as producing high flow rates. The heart of the new manifold includes a forging design that not only eliminates all MPT connections, it reduces the total connections by over 50%. Now let's take a closer look at several of these key components. Now we'll take a look at several of the key components relating to this new global manifold. Right here we have the new bank regulators uh, located inside the forging. We also have a bleed valve located here as well as a bank pressure gauge located here. We also have the pressure switches located here. This is our dome bias regulator which regulates the pressure to the bank regulators. And down here we have a solenoid valve which controls the dome bias pressure over each bank regulator. Here we have a intermediate relief valve as well as two isolation valves. We also have a check valve that's located inside of the forging above the bank regulators. Here we have a reserve header port that's used for high pressure by high pressure, liquid by liquid, and liquid by high pressure manifolds. Here we have our line regulators which are mounted inside of the forgings, as well as a surface bleed valve. We have a relief valve uh, for our outlet, as well as a vent valve located here for servicing and a service valve for relieving pressure uh, and providing pressure to the dome bias regulator. We have zero clearance uh, unions here and here for both the vent port and the shutoff valve. We also have check valves which are mounted inside of the forgings above the line regulators here and here. This is our new LED overlay, which mounts to the front panel. The panel allows us to visually see the gas flow condition at any time. On the panel, we have a right pressure bank gauge. We have a left pressure bank gauge. We also have an outlet pressure gauge located here. We have several LED lights. First shows which bank is empty. It's a red light located here. We also have a bank ready green light located here as well as a green in use light located here. We also have a red changeover light located here when the banks switch. We've also included two manual control buttons here and here which allows you to manually switch between the banks. Now we will see the operation of the manifold. Uh, in this simulation, we have applied 2,500 PSI pressure to both sides of the manifold, and we're flowing from the left side. As you can see, the pressure is dropping on the left side, and we've got steady pressure on the outlet pressure gauge. When we get to 300 PSI, you'll see a red light on the left bank empty and then you'll see the flow start on the right bank. Also we have a changeover light that comes on when that switchover occurs. Okay. Now we want to take a look at the function of the manual changeover control buttons. These buttons allow you to easily switch between banks, left and right, with just a push of the button. Also notice during the changeover the steady output pressure. The vent valve. 
The manifold incorporates a new vent valve design to relieve manifold outlet pressure. This valve is tubed directly to the relief port. This allows gases to be expelled through a relief port which adds additional safety when servicing the manifold. Power Supply and Control Board Assembly The power supply and control board are installed in a NEMA 4 enclosure which is pre-mounted to the manifold backplate. The power supply has an input power range of 85 to 250 volts AC and converts power to a safe 24 volt DC output. The power input contacts are mounted on a quick connect terminal block for easy replacement. The power supply also includes a 250 milliamp fuse. To the right side of the power supply is the control board. The control board includes two dry contacts for both alarm and data connections. The contacts are mounted on a quick connect terminal block for easy replacements. The pressure switch, solenoid valve, and LED overlay controls are easily identifiable and connected at the bottom of the control board.